Street. So if I'm on Queer Street, what does this mean? It means you're penniless, that you frittered your fortune away on fripperies or the gambling tables, and then the debtors come and they peck at everything until everything's gone and you're on, sent to Queer Street. There was a debtor's prison, I think, on Queer Street. Mm. We don't want to end up on Queer Street. <laughs> I'm already there. I think it's a real street, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I think it was a real, isn't it real fiction, street. Isn't it? isn't it? What's his name? Um, Dickens. No, before. Trollope. Thackeray. No, between the... Bernie. Between... <laughs> I'm just throwing authors at no, you now. Well, more, you know, an author and political writer. What's his name? You know, the, Ignatius the, Sancho, the, the, the little satirical, slave. Satirical writer. Come on, come on. Dandy of dandies. You know Ignatius Sancho. No. He did write essays. Lawrence Stern. Oh, Lawrence Stern. Yes, he persuaded uh, Ignatius Sancho of Mayfair, the dandy of dandies, as Byron called him, the king of the dandies. Mm. He persuaded him, because he was born on a slave boat, and as he was coming out of his mother's body, his father slit his own mm. throat because he was a king, and he couldn't bear, when he saw he was a boy, he couldn't bear that a son would see him... In, as his father a slave wow. so he's purchased by a pair of little Welsh ladies and then he was they were speaking to him poorly in a high-handed manner when he was a little seven-year-old boy in where in Bath and so uh, Lord Montague stood up and he went and fought him and he gave him an education with his wife free run of the library he learnt Latin and Greek it's very much what uh, Marie Antoinette did with um, a child um, and she raised the child as her own, but the child was kind of written out of history. Now, that's very sad. Yeah. Well, Ignatius Sancho wasn't for two reasons. One, he wrote the musical backdrop to the Regency, so all those dance tunes that you see them jumping about to on Regency dramas, they're written by him, and no sooner has he written something than people went out and bought it. He was left two legacies, but he spent them all um, on Savile oh. Row, on fancies. And he ended up on Gwyr Street. Well, no, he didn't, because he married a fellow slave, Anne Osborne, a sensible woman, and she persuaded him to purchase a house on in Mayfair. They sold tobacco to the the fancies, the first blood of the fancies who lived in Mayfair, and mm. uh, he, uh, Lawrence Stern, the author who wrote about Queer Street. He persuaded him, look, you were born a slave man. You should be all this business going on in America. You should be writing anti-abolitionist essays. And he w had, didn't think of himself as a slave because he'd grown up in the Montague household, had no recollection of any of that. But he thought, all right, and he was persuaded because he just liked writing music, really, Amazing. and buying pretty things. Wow. and uh, his wife said yes it's a jolly good idea because they had five children so he did and they were the most powerful essays so poignant because he was so literate such a beautiful writer combined with his first hand experience it really moved people moved the king to tears and many more besides and uh, the yes slavery was abolished wow, that's we'd amazing. already abolished it here right Yes, he was a great character, but he didn't want to be known for that. He didn't want to be known for being a slave. He wanted to be known for the dance music. He was the P. Diddy of his time. Wow. Well, he so. definitely influenced William Wilberforce. Well, he did, yes. He did influence Will William Wilberforce. He influenced many, but I just find it hilarious that he, he uh, wasted two legacies, Montague legacies, because when uh, the Churchill's daughter, Mary, she married, they made uh, the the... First, Lord Montague he'd worked for had no son, so the title died. So when uh, he had no employment and he'd frittered his fortune, they left him a fortune. So they made her husband, Mary, uh, Mary um, Churchill, uh, Lord Marlborough's daughter, they made her Lady Montague, mm. and she and her husband, Lord Montague, and they also, and uh, Gainsborough painted him as a little boy as with by her but also in his own right as a dance music composer wow and that's ignatius sancho mayfair resident and eccentric amazing